since you say you are preoccupied with being pro-India, do you intend to have a kind of uniformity in India, I mean, in, in regard, I don't, I, I'm not referring to its laws, but in regard to its kind of, uh, its language, its culture, I mean, turning out so many different sausages, if I may say, so all one. We couldn't do it if you wanted to, and we are uh, proud and happy about our diversity because we think that this adds to the interest in life and the richness of our culture. As you know, every state has its own language, its own script. And there, within the state also, there are different regions, cultural groupings. And we also think that this diversity is not a weakening factor, but uh, on the contrary, it's a strengthening factor. You know, unity in diversity is what the slogan says. Therefore, I take it that uh, you are not anti different languages as such, though they are the nightmare, the radio and television people, you know, having different... You we, are not have, we have no such problem here, because since each state has its, its own language, uh, its radio functions largely in that language, but we provide for all the minorities, who, uh, the minority groups who may be living in that state. May I prove further? I mean, if you had your way, would you impose a particular language, a particular way of life? No, oh no. I think that uh, I rebelled against it even uh, much earlier in, with regard to clothes and so on when I was uh, young. No, I think that uh, the greater the diversity, the better it is for people. I mean, people are individuals and they shouldn't become statistics. But um, I do believe that there should be a link. Now, in India, we have a formula which we call the three language formula. I must confess it hasn't worked, but it doesn't mean that it's not worth uh, trying for, which is that uh, um, you first have your mother tongue, then you have a national link language, and then you have an international link language. I very much appreciate that you have started uh, broadcasting in uh, Sanskrit. I think this is going to be an integration factor as regards Hindi, Bengali, Telugu, Tamil. And because you, there is a move in certain countries that uh, we must do away with all differences. We must come to one common factor, have one language and uh, one kind of dress and uh, the kind of uh, rigid kind of things that they had in, mon I'm not, I don't want to use the word monasteries, but uh, in armies and things like that, a kind of uniform everywhere. Oh, do you agree with that? No, it? I'm against uh, uniforms, except of course the army needs one. And sometimes it's useful in schools because it brings in a certain discipline. But in adults, and, no. Uh, but certainly not. Even in schools, I think that uh, if we could uh, persuade people, uh, I mean, to have that... Uh, discipline without these outer uh, trappings of it, it would be better not to have. Some countries have some problem, you know, about the school. I mean, they insist on the Indian girls wearing skirts and not wearing saris or salwar and mm -hmm. kurtas and things like that. It's very much a live question in many countries. I, I, mean, I want to move on to another aspect. You see, it's this right to differ, uh, which people claim, and its concomitant is the acceptance by those who claim it that the other side also has the right to differ from what they are differing. What but is, they don't always look at it that way. They feel they have a right to differ, but the others don't. Yeah, the others must conform. But it's contrary to the... Uh, throughout the history of India, I mean, you have people who are atheists, uh, people who are pantheists, people who believed in no god, people who believed in several gods, and still they were all given... Uh, the same kind of honor. And basically, um, this is uh, not only our state policy, but it is, uh, I think, um, the tolerance of other views is uh, basic to Indian culture. And uh, all the old Sanskrit uh, slokes, you know, they, they have many which say that the, true, the paths to truth are many. Uh, but... Uh, <laughs> I think that's the, that's the essential feature of this continent, that uh, it doesn't claim the monopoly of the one path. Madame Maintenant, 